hi friends <clears throat> today we are going to discuss about trading multiple files and loading into target uh, t underscore emp table for example file 1 tpt 10 file 2 tpt 20 file 3 tpt csv okay so these three files so basically it's going to contain dpt number So file one will be having three records. File two will be having five records, and file three will be having six records. So in total, fourteen records will be loaded. So. In records total from EMP table pushing into target T underscore EMP table. Okay, so now let us try to create a own target table called T underscore EMP select star from EMP where one is equal to two so now the table got created now let us try to create a simple mapping so the source we are going to select the so basically these three files will be keep these three files will be this three file for example, these three files will be uh, located uh, into C learning one folder. Okay. And EMP data dot txt. Under that file, we are going to mention dpt underscore 10 dot csv dpt underscore 10 dots 20 dot csv and dpt underscore 30 dot csv file okay the same location this three file also will be there with all these three three uh, uh, <coughs> three records five records six records respectively in each file okay so uh, so only thing is the source type we are going to select it as file list and we are going to point this emptt data.txt but while run, running so each file will be read and and its corresponding record will be populated into the target table okay let us go back to the informatica cloud creating the mapping the source i'm going to select the emptt data this is the source file ultimately this is the source reference for file type so here the source reference so the uh, source type is connection type is flat file and this emptt data see here this three file also located in the same location as i told before and this emptt data dot txt inside it uh, these three files are uh, pointed and this three file is having the same structure of data okay that is the uh, pre-request and that there should not be any difference on it otherwise it will fail okay so i'm saying okay here 
and that's it uh, here in this uh, okay but what let us try to do a quick preview but here this uh, format is differing this higher rate format it's better to use the expression transformation to convert it so i'm going to introduce the expression transformation here under this expression transformation i'm going to create a variable port called v underscore higher date higher date and this data type data type should be date time okay and i'm configuring and calling the input port from this one input port just to hold on okay incoming field okay something is not good here okay let us try to preview again okay okay thing is fine uh, okay session transformation okay oh okay i have selected the correct file here let us try to okay i selected uh, i forgot to mention this file list we have to change it to the source type otherwise this multiple reading uh, property will go away so we need to select the file list and let us try to reselect the file again emptt data text okay and redo the preview again here okay now the preview format is fine okay now let's go back here configure okay now the fields are appearing properly okay now built in to the date format here to underscore date sorry uh, we have to do the conversion here because that is a character data type uh, we are uh, getting as input you have to convert into to underscore date so that it will be a proper date format otherwise it will fail in the target loading so let us try to select the field now here go back to the field section and select the i date field and before to that we select it okay and the format as we see here the format y y y y m m t d h s 24 m i that's it validate the expression and the variable port is ready now let us try to create a output port so that the output port will be pointing to the target okay now expression is ready now let us try to select the target the target is the oracle table here oracle table the table which we have created t underscore emp we supposed to point it here so yeah we are done now so now <clears throat> better use the truncate target if you are running multiple times so i'm selecting that and keep the operation as insert here and now field mapping you just select the exact field mapping and only thing is this higher date is just replaced with this one because that is the uh, formatting change we have done part of our transformation expression transformation now it's all set now we'll try to oh, okay somewhere it's okay where is the error it's showing up let us try to see the validation panel here yeah so specify an expression so we forgot to specify the expression here the variable port we didn't try to map it yeah correct so let us try to add this one validate it yeah fine save this one yeah now the mapping is ready to run
Yeah, the job is, has been kicked off. Let us try to see. Yeah, it's in starting stage. It's running now. Yeah, the job has been successfully ran. Now we can see the 14 records have been uh, read and 14 records have been loaded. Okay, so now let's go back to the SQL developer and run, run the query. See, these 14 records have been loaded successfully. Thank you friends for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel.